Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix MetaTrader 5 invalid account problem. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. So let's get started. Now, if you're having problems with your MetaTrader 5 account and you're getting that invalid account problem, well, there are a few things that you may want to do here. Now, first thing that you want to do is you want to check the basics. So first is you want to guarantee that you have a pretty stable interconnection. Now, if you have an unstable interconnection, like for example, your interconnection is really slow or is unstable, well, this might cause the problem. So in this case, you may want to switch over to a different connection type here. Like for example, if you're using your Wi-Fi, switch over to a mobile data. Now, if you're using your mobile data, switch over to a different Wi-Fi connection and see if that helps. Now, if that doesn't help, next thing that you want to do is you want to check your MetaTrader 5 account. You want to open up MetaTrader 5 here. You want to go and click on the three bar icon I see at the top left here. You want to go to the manage account section. And in here, you want to go and just make sure that your account is not uh, blocked or is inactive. Now, if you do see like any problems in here, you want to go and just select or click on it and basically correct any information. Like for example, enter the correct password or if they need further information, you may need to uh, go and complete that. Now, another thing that you may want to do here is you want to make sure that the app is fully updated. So in this case, you want to go and just visit Google Play Store. You want to go and click on search. Just type in the following. It's going to be MetaTrader 5. And from here, go and open it up. And if you do see an update button here, go ahead and click on update, wait for a while. And once the update is complete, you can go ahead and open it up and see if that solves your issue. Now, if this doesn't solve the issue, the next thing that you may want to do here is you may want to clear the cache for it. So which are the temporary files that is stored within the app. So you want to open up your settings here. And from here, you want to go ahead and choose the option for apps. And under apps, you want to go ahead and just search for MetaTrader. So go ahead and click on search apps, type in MetaTrader, go ahead and open it up. In here, you want to click on clear data at the bottom right, click on clear cache, click on OK. And from here, go and open it up and see if that solves the issue. And that's about it. So if you found this video, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.